at the end here, uh, I'm going to talk about something that's uh, pretty important. Uh, now, a lot, a lot of people have been talking to me about um, why are e-cigarettes exploding all over the place here. Uh, a lot of it's fear-mongering and that sort of thing, but there is an element of, of danger with using any, any product. Um, e-cigarettes, danger lies mostly in the batteries and, and battery safety. Now, this here is an LG HE4 battery. I've got, it's got a long model number here. You can look them up. Uh, you can find the amp limits for these on, online. And, uh, I apologize. I'm, I'm sick, so I'm not really at 100% right now. Um, but this is important. So you can look up your battery's amp limits, and that's important for doing things like dripping. So, for example, uh, you don't want to build something that's 0 0.04 on a 20 amp battery. Like, I know, for example, uh, these LG HG2s are... Uh, 20 amp, 20 amp batteries. They're safe up to 20 amps, continuous draw. Um, sorry. Uh, so you don't. It says right on this one. Do do not short circuit. Uh, so a short is when you have almost no resistance. Um, you need resistance to the battery to keep it to keep it safe. Uh, or, sorry, not to keep it safe, but to keep it from shorting the battery out, and then your batteries will start to overheat and will start venting. Um, they have been known to start fires if they start venting. They've been uh, recently. There's been a lot of talk of them exploding. Um, another thing with keeping that short circuit thing in mind when you're using mechanical mods like say I've got my M6 over here uh, this is a sorry it's the magnet is awesome on this and picks up everything so the way this works is the body of its copper the, the switch assembly is mostly uh, copper as well and there's some insulated portions of it so that your battery can sort of rest on it and the wrap will protect it on the bottom from making a circuit until you press that press that switch in so I don't know if you can see and then that makes contact with the negative contact on the battery and hopefully it makes contact with the positive pin I'll just unscrew this positive pin on the inside there you're on the top of the battery and then the current travels up the up the mod and through the atomizer which is a resistor you'll see there's an insulator in between that to prevent short circuiting now when your wraps when your battery wraps start to do this you can start getting really dangerous because you can start short circuiting without even without even pressing the button if it makes contact with the side of the mod, if it makes contact with the wrong part of the switch assembly, um, you can you can start short circuiting it without even firing it. Screw that all back together. Yeah, I'm making a mess because the magnet is awesome and it won't stand on a coil. Um, so yeah. You, when this starts to happen, you want to get them rewrapped immediately. That's that's dangerous. That's danger zone, danger territory, danger zone. Um, sorry, I'm not tales from the crypt deeper. No, um, so back to amp limits. Now, there's a thing called Ohm's law, and it's basic physics. If you don't know what Ohm's law is, take a minute and just Google it. It's it's a simple mathematical formula um, developed for working with currents. So I can't remember the exact formula off, off the top of my head, uh, but it's something like P equals I over V or something like that. Um, if 
best part about that, you don't have to know the formula. There is an app for that, and I, I love saying that. Um, but yeah, there's an app for that. You, you don't have to worry about knowing what the formula is and doing all the calculations yourself. Um, I have an app on my phone. It's called Ohm's Law Calculator. It's just Ohm's Law Calculator on the on the Google uh, on the Google Play Store. Um, I think there's an iPhone one for it too. There's all sorts. And Android Market's got it. Everything you can get an Ohm's Law Calculator. Easy, free, and to be safe, it's worth it. It's it's worth the safety. Um, and all you do is you just punch in two values on the, on, on the, the, oh, what am I trying to say? On the app. Sorry. Sickness is going to my head. Um, so for example, say I know I have a 20 amp LG HD2 battery. I, I punch in, I know I'm not at that, uh, at that full charge for my LG HD2, I know it's 4.2 volts on a full charge. So I punch it in uh, uh, 4.2 volts, and then I punch in 20 amps. And it will give me the lowest safe build I can do with that battery. Um, I know that happens to come out to 0.21, just because I, I do that calculation quite often. Um, same thing with my 30 amp batteries. I know I can go down to 0.145 uh, safely um, on, on my Sony VTC4. Battery safety is paramount importance. You will be dropping your voltage just a touch under load, um, but to be safe, just punch in the full 4.2 at a full charge. Be safe. It's, it's not work. Uh, uh, worth being another statistic, being another story for the fear mongers. Um, another thing, hybrid mods. Now, I don't have my hybrid mod handy um, because I lent it to a friend. You don't want to use tanks on hybrid mods for one simple reason. The center pin just doesn't come out far enough for it to be safe. You look on this battery if I put that down on it it's almost making contact with both the positive and negative portions of this tank now if something were to happen you press the button too hard and it dents that battery in you could hard short the hard short the battery and you could end up with an exploding mod um, and being another one of those statistics so battery batteries know your battery safety know your mod and like for for the two seconds of research it's going to take or downloading the app or uh doing the calculation if you're a, a math whiz or a physics whiz and you know the the formula by heart with regulated mods you don't have to worry as much because like it's not going to go, like, for example, my X cube here. It's not going to go past 0.1. Uh, it's not going to go lower than 0.1. It'll just say atomizer short. Sorry. One second. Oh. Uh. Sorry. Um, it just won't fire. It'll say atomizer short or atomizer or uh, too low. Um, so... Regulated mods, not going to have that kind of issue. You're not going to have that kind of issue with anything with a, a one of those spring-loaded center pins in there. Um, you're not going to have to worry about uh, the, the, the center pin on the atomizer being too short or too long because it'll be just the right size to just contact that, uh, that, that center post. The same thing on here. This has got... A fairly protruding center pin but I don't need to worry about that because this has a separate center pin with an insulator in between to stop it from making contact with both the negative and positive at the same time um, be safe guys don't be 
a statistic. Don't be another story for those, uh, for, for those fear mongers and, like, for, for the amount of time it's going to take you to know your batteries, know your mod, know your atomizer, it's, it's a no-brainer. Like, just be safe. With temperature control stuff. So, titanium, I'm going to start with titanium because I love the flavor that you get off of it. And I, hands down, I think it's the cleanest flavor that I've ever experienced vaping. Um, that being said, you need to make sure that you're in the proper temperature control setting for titanium on your mod. Uh, when you dry burn titanium, like say you're, you're just vaping it away in power mode and you dry out the cotton, you can light that titanium on fire and you will need a special chemical fire extinguisher to put it out um it can be very dangerous it's they use titanium powder uh for the bright white explosions in fireworks so be careful make sure that you're in the right temperature control settings same thing goes for nickel and stainless steel now i don't know a whole lot about stainless steel uh per se but if it's like titanium or nickel either one uh, you'll want to be in the proper setting and most temperature control mods now either have the have it built right in to, to handle stainless steel or They have an upgrade available to handle stainless steel um, Nickel I know that when it's when it's dry burn it can create uh, toxic gases um, So you want to make sure with all three of those that you're using the proper temperature control settings um other than that, now I'm cutting this video off. Um, just be safe, guys. Check out that old game.